CNN Hero is doing her part to make sure at-risk youth on Chicago's uh, South Side enjoy a delicious home-cooked meal this holiday. I was honored to present an award to Chicago mom and grandma, uh, Diane Latiker, who founded this incredible organization called uh, KOB, or Kids Off the Block. What she does is she brings in troubled youth. She first started doing this in her own home and then helps them turn their lives around. So my colleague, Ryan Young, caught up with her this weekend as she was feeding hundreds, sparing no expense and making sure these young people have a happy Thanksgiving. This is a feast centered around giving thanks. Thanks for peace. Thanks for a moment without gunshots. They get the real deal. This ain't no canned stuff. I refuse to give them a piece of old bread and a can of spinach and call it a Thanksgiving meal. This meal costs $6,000 so they can eat all they want. Greens, not the real mac. Ooh, they got some good mac. <laughs> Turkey, uh, uh, um, sweet potatoes. I mean, Oh, the dessert. In 2003, Diane Latiker started a nonprofit called Kids Off the Block. In 2011, she was recognized as a CNN hero for her work helping provide support and sanctuary for at risk kids on Chicago's tough South Side. Oh, yeah, she's awesome. Awesome. The things I've seen, what she does for the children, I've seen the relationships that she builds with them. It's, it's phenomenal. This year alone, there have been more than 600 homicides in Chicago. Many of the victims are younger than 18. Diane works to give the kids a break from the streets. What's that like trying to avoid gangs in Chicago? You gotta duck your, you gotta duck your head every day. Every day somebody getting shot or somebody getting murdered. 16 year old Dante Harris talks more like a war veteran than a kid looking forward to the rest of his life. So I've been losing a lot of friends. What's, what's that like, just the process? Man, it's like you just took a bullet to yourself because them your friends that you grew up with. That's a worldwide view that touched Skylar Jett, once a member of the mega music group, the Commodores, who flew in from Scotland to experience this day and Diane's efforts firsthand. She's my hero. We're putting together a thing right now for every mom who's lost a loved one due to gun. The work here is never over. So you got a chance to meet Brooke? She was really impressed by Did she tell you I was proud with her? So what do you want her to know about the efforts, and what do you want people out there who don't live in Chicago to know about what Chicago needs right now? I think Brooke knows. Because Brooke don't She ain't no problem. <laughs> you haven't given up? I'm never giving up. Why not? Because young people are always being born. <laughs> Oh, Ryan Young, my heart goes out to you and to Diane. Thank you so much. I just needed a little love and inspiration. She was sitting with me at dinner the other night and saying, Brooke, why is it that you all just cover the bad, the bad that's happening in, in Chicago? And I said, Diane, I'm sending my friend Ryan to you. <laughs> well, you know, we try. And, and this is one of those things that when you watch that piece, there's, there's good parts about it. You see all the kids happy and getting a chance to eat. But then when you talk to that young man and oh, you see the, the fact and you hear the fact that he said, absolutely, when he talks about it feels like a piece of yourself dying every time one of your friends dies, you understand this is a different story. I mean, this city will more than likely face 700 homicides this year. I mean, this is a problem. And at the same time, you have someone like Diane who's putting the gloves on herself and getting out there and fighting. And people in the community are trying to fight with her, but they need help. I mean, police officers were there as well interacting with the kids in a great space. That's um, awesome. This was awesome to be able to have this on your show and the fact that she wanted to meet you and she felt like you were helping to support her as well. So it goes both ways, but you know people here, um, this is life or death.